Hello everybody, Mobius1 here, bringing you the next episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. We're standing outside of the ruined Jedi Enclave on uh, Dantooine. About to go inside. I'm wondering, though, we should probably unequip our lightsabers. I'm here. Just in case we bump into somebody upon entering, I don't want them to know immediately that we're Jedi. So, let's see what happens. We might get attacked, and in which case we'll just re-equip them. Hey, we got XP just for entering. I uh, like it. This looks actually better than it did in the first KOTOR. What's going on here? Or I guess we are, we actually weren't able to enter this part of the ruins, or the uh, temple, in the first KOTOR. Alright, it looks like there's a skeleton up there. There's some mines over here. Gas mines. Can't interact with the skeleton at all? That seems unlikely. There's some creature down there. We'll save that for later. Oh, I've got one right here. Ligrek! Alright, well. Sabres, everyone! Let's go. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Just making sure. Alright, that was a full circle. Oh man, this place looks like it's gonna be pretty large. Alright, let's go this way. Computer terminals. They're all disabled. A locked door. Well, yeah. you're up. Ready. Hmm. More disabled terminals, another locked door. I'll have this open in no time. Ready. How do you like that? This will teach you. I thought there was a third. I guess not. Lots of locked doors here. Yes. Oh, this literally goes into the same room. Okay. And... Oh, there is another room down this hall. Alright, so let's go this way. There should be a door... right over here. Yep, with a mine. Ooh, what's that over there? What's going on? Can ba does Bowder have... I don't think he has demolitions, does he? Oh, heck yeah he does. Recover that mine, baby. We can sell that later. Child's blood. Okay. Yes. Open this door. Some foot lockers. Oh, <laughs> they're locked foot lockers. I don't think we can interact with the skeletons either. What's going on? Alright, open them up! Credits. A Chani Vibra Sword, Sith Mask. I'll have this open in no time. Parts, Hyper Battle Simulant. Man, I love Baldur. He's so useful. Yes? I don't think this is anything. Okay. Alright, well that takes us back to where we were, so let's keep going this way then. And we'll go, uh, we'll go east along the bottom part of the map, I guess. Uh, alright. So those are all dead ends. This way. Oh, we got like a training room? What is this? Or a council room, maybe? <laughs> Salvager Corpse. Journal entry added. Items received. Dead Salvager? We're carrying a dead guy with us? Oh man. Alright, what's the journal? Ghost to rest bonus mission. You found a body of a Salvager in the Enclave Ruins. 
Perhaps someone in the salvager camp will know who this poor fellow was. Uh, right. So we're just carrying a dead dude with us. Lovely. We'll just stuff him into our inventory. The way all the salvagers and people were talking about these lig ligrex, I thought they were going to be like big, ferocious beasts. But they're not. They're just... They're pushovers. Look at this. Easy peasy. Alright, we'll go in through the open door. Nice. Good job, Balder. Got me a level up. Alright, here's a data pad. Storage room. This journal was found, uh, found near the gnawed clean skeleton of a salvager. The last entry is of interest. I made it farther into the Enclave than any other salvager. I've discovered an untouched storage room. The computer and the power relay station should allow me to open the security door. Once I figure out how to sneak past the Ligrex that have made nest there, I will leave Dantooine rich. Well, I don't think a Ligrex nest is really going to cause us any trouble at all. Let's level up. Skills to pay the bills. Um... Want more persuasion and more awareness. Yeah, that's good. Feats. Feats for the leets. What were we working on? We can get Master Jedi Defense. I like it. We can get Improved Toughness. I also like it. We can get Superior Two Weapon Fighting. That's right. I really like it. We can get the improved dual strike, plus four bonus to hit an enemy being attacked by another party member. I pretty much like it. Uh, we'll get the superior two weapon fighting too, because this is just, this is ridiculous. For battle med or uh, powers, we get battle master battle meditation. We're not even using this. Can you imagine how deadly we'd be if I was actually using these powers? <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna get it anyway. I'm just curious. What is this? Revitalize. Kind of life energies back to any non-droid fauna. Oh, cool. That's probably a pretty good one to get, too. <clears throat> Brings back all allies with 10% of their total vitality. I'm actually going to get this instead of Master Battle Meditation. I feel like this might actually be more useful. That way, if uh, for some reason a party member dies, I can just bring them back. Let's go. I really hope somebody in the party doesn't accidentally aggro that leg, Rick. Oh god, they're going to do it. They're going to do it. <laughs> It's fine, as long as they don't step on the mine. Let's get this over with. Okay. I'm here. All right, computer panel. Security door. All right, so this must be. Oh, that was the leg wreck nest right there. All right, so this is the room that that data pad was talking about. Let's save our game in case we blow ourselves up. Then we'll have Baldur interact with this. Okay, power relay station terminal main. Enter command. Access work log. Enter query. View the pending work log. Part page one of one. Task one ten forty six B. Head technician Durgar Chester. I'm here investigating complaints of the storage room door sticking shut, following a recent mishap with a defective flaming protocol droid. I mean, I'm pretty sure most states don't, 
<laughs> Where am I going with this? Uh, we don't discriminate against flaming protocol droids anymore. I know this game came out a while ago, but I'm pretty sure that's... That's, uh, disrespectful. Anyway, whoa! Where'd it go? It just disappeared. My assistant Tarn will be on hand to open the door for me if I get stuck in the storage room. Okay, view prior work logs. Accessing archive work logs from main computer. Connection failed. Reason. Main computer non-responsive. Please verify that the main computer is active. Contact the head technician to resolve this issue. Return to main. Open storage room door. Command failed. Reason. Security door is non-responsive. Please contact the head technician to resolve this issue. Local camera control. Storage. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. There's some good stuff in there, man. Power relay station entrance. Southwest common room. Southwest hall. Uh, Southwest hall south. Droid bay. Uh-oh. There's a lot of droids in there. Turn to main. I'm gonna overload the terminal. I think that just blows it up. I don't wanna do that. Okay, well. There's nothing we can do yet, so let's move on and probably come back to it later. What's going on? Why can't oh stuck door? I'm here. I hope that was okay that we just did that. Jeez. Ooh, a deadly leg wreck. They're like, they're breathing fire? Oh my god, he's like breathing fire. I mean, they're still pretty pathetic. How awesome that is when everyone in your party knows heal. There's a lot of broken power conduits. I do not like this. Automation gloves? What do those do? Child's play. Iotran bracement armor. This looks kind of like the droid room. Child's play. Ready. Well, should we mess with that terminal? Let me see. Yeah. I bet you this door doesn't open. I have this open in no time. I was wrong. Huh? <gasps> Who are you? Yes. Okay, wait. Save the game. I wanted to say we're gonna take off lightsabers. Yeah. I'm here. It's going ready. On. Take it. Yeah. There we go. Your arrival is fortunate. I was just running out of food supplies and wondering what Legrec meat would taste like. Who are you? I am an historian and scientist working for the Republic, and a self-styled disciple of knowledge. If I may ask, what brings you to these ruins? Um, I'm searching for Jedi. Then it would appear we have similar goals. <clears throat> Perhaps we can benefit from sharing information. Feel free to ask me whatever you wish. Who does your dental work? Uh, why are you here? I was trapped in this room by Legrex. I can handle one or two alone, but they came at me in a large group. I don't know why they are massing in the Enclave. I'm concerned that they may have been drawn here by some disturbance. 
That's not the only reason. The other reason was the ruins of the Jedi Enclave. And once I arrived, I felt it was necessary to stay, to protect what was left. Left? Much had been taken from the Enclave, <clears throat> both by raiders and others. I wished to preserve what I could. What others? Many artifacts were taken from the Enclave, but these thefts, they had to have been done by someone who knew the Enclave well. I suspect the Jedi themselves took the holocrons and records, but I do not know why. I think you underestimate the ingenuity of salvagers. Even the Jedi cannot protect their secrets from those clever or persistent enough. Besides, the Jedi who knew the Enclave are mostly perished, and the Girl, ones who survived what are you cannot steal from this place. It was my mistake to use the term thefts. I apologize. In any case, if Jedi did take things for the sake of preservation, yeah. of course, then they left no clue as to where they may have taken them. Vrook probably has like a secret master's lounge. You know, with like a open bar and vending machines. Uh, you mentioned holocrons. Someone has been taking holocrons from sites across the galaxy. It was almost as if someone does not want their knowledge used to find the Jedi. The situation on Dantooine is echoed in other places in the galaxy. Raiders, smugglers, all seek to plunder what remains of the Jedi. And even the Sith. More so than the Jedi themselves, I fear the loss of their history. Okay, next question. What are all those bodies doing around that statue behind you? Much has been forgotten in recent wars, and I fear that greater troubles shall stem from that loss of knowledge in the future. The destruction of the Academy on Osus near the Kron Drift in the Sith War. The teachings of Master Arca. The adventures of Jolie Bindo on the Rimward missions. All of these things are in danger okay. of being lost forever. All, all of these things, like all these things you're saying, you're talking about, like I should know what they are. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't know what they are. Uh, tell me about the. You look familiar to me. I imagine in your travels of the galaxy, you've seen many people. Faces tend to blur together after a time. What else would you like to know? Why do you work for the Republic? I'm trying to save the Republic. Dantooine and the Jedi Order are instrumental to that effort. Despite the troubles of the Jedi Civil War, there are those among the Republic who still favor the Jedi and wish them to return. And there are admirals within the fleet who recognize that the Jedi must be found if the Republic is to hold together. Yet as long as Onderon remains within the Republic and the efforts on Tilo succeed, that is all that matters. Okay, why Telos and Onderon? The Republic is fragile right now. Telos is important because its success will determine whether or not the other dead worlds receive the same reconstruction efforts. If Telos is rebuilt and made habitable again, it will affect a string of worlds along the rim. And Onderon? Onderon, strangely enough, was unaffected by the Jedi Civil War. It's almost as if Revan didn't want to attack it. Its resources and position on the rim make it a vital supply line and guard post against outer rim attacks. Also, it's the only world in the Republic still capable of seeding ecosystems into other dead worlds. Onderon's wildlife is some of the most aggressive in the known galaxy. Merely placing some of those beasts on target worlds will guarantee their habitation for years to come. Hmm. Why are the Jedi Order important? The Jedi are a symbol. As much damage as their reputation took during the Sith War and the Jedi Civil War, there are still many who they serve as an example. Plus, there have been times in the past where a single Jedi has been enough to change the face of a world. Or a galaxy. I suppose I still believe that might be possible. Despite the betrayal of many of the Jedi against the Republic, I must concede that as figureheads, they do serve a vital role. Okay. What else would you like... Um, <clears throat> I guess that's it. Before you go, I had a question for you. You came to Dantooine in search of Jedi. Why? Because I have a force bond I need severed to get some answers. The Sith are awake in the galaxy and I'm going to need their help to stop them. Because they need to answer for what they did to me. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, let's do that one. If the, the Sith, Sith are rising one. in the galaxy again, then it is strange the Jedi would not be there to meet them. And that we have not seen more evidence of the Sith. Trust me, the Sith are out there. They've been hounding me since Paragus. Let's try that. No, I believe you. I merely find such subtleties among the Sith to be strange. They have been known to practice deception, 
But in the histories, since the time of the Dark Lords Kuhn and Keldroma, and Revan and Malak, such subtleties have been rare. I will return to Kunda now and await the next transport. You may find me there if you have more questions. Huh. I don't know how I feel about that, dude. Three dead mercenaries lay here accompanied by signs of combat. Each of the mercenaries bear evidence they were killed by a lightsaber. Targeting visor, credits, frag grenade, Asgul's orders. The data pad contains orders from Asgul, the leader of the mercenaries on Dantooine. Rook has wandered into the Enclave alone. You will take a full squad to capture the Jedi alive. Bring him to our nook in the Kinrath Caves to await transport to Nar Shaddaa. He will fetch a fine bounty. Okay, so that's what that, um... In the cave, we saw that little, like, uh, holding thing. So that was them. Okay, so we kind of figured out what that was all about. There doesn't seem to be anything else in here. <clears throat> Among the bodies of three mercenaries, he found a data pad that contains orders from Asgore to capture Vok alive and bring him to the Kinrath Caves. I mean, clearly they didn't accomplish their goal. Alright, let's have Baldur interact with this terminal and see what it does. Fix the computer terminal. Zero repair parts, my favorite number. It's now functioning. Mainframe terminal main. Access work log. Volume not found. Reason data corruption. Please contact the head of the All right. X system commands. Mainframe disconnected from children. Please contact the head technician. Camera control. Okay, well, we can't do anything. But that leveled up, Baldur. Level up. Skills. Oh boy, so many skills, I don't know where to go. Yep, that's good. Feats. He's been granted force sensitive. I thought he already was force sensitive. That's not, is that this? Yeah, okay. Allowing them to grow in ability when addressing personal flaws on rare occasions. Uh, okay, 40 additional, additional force points. So he can get master toughness. Oh, he can get plus two damage bonus with lightsabers. He can get... Well, we definitely don't need that right now. Uh, let's do the damage bonus with lightsabers. That's what he's going to be using. Powers, uh, yeah, master heal. Such a good move. Except, thank you, come again. Let's go. Okay, yes. yeah, he can't do anything with that yet, so let's keep going. Hopefully we find more computers that we can turn on. You asked for it. Um, where's Handmaiden? Where have you been? Let's get this over with. What's going on? Now she leveled up. Okay, she gets skills. I guess just treat injury. She only gets one point. Powers. Maybe we should. Oh, yeah. Okay, now force wave. It's a great move. Done. I mean, the fact that we're clearing out all these leg wreck, doesn't that kind of make it easier for the salvagers once we're done in here? We're kind of like clearing the way for all the other people to just come in here and take whatever they want. Yes. What's going on? What's going on? I'm here. Oh, this is the droid room. Okay. Protocol droids. Computer panel. Broken droid. Okay, broken droid again. Ooh, a workbench. Yeah? Child's play. Can you use Baldur to, like, make whatever I want right now? What can I make? 
lightsaber stuff. Oh my god, look, I can make pretty much anything. I can make almost anything I want. Vibration lens. Improved beam gen lens. Dude, how many... Oh my god, but look at how many parts these make. I need to break down stuff. I need to start breaking down a lot of stuff and start getting, like, a lot of parts. Like... Like, a lot. But I don't know which of these things are good. Ugh, this is the part of the game that I hate. Cause like I'm such I'm a loot hoarder. I really am. Because I don't wanna I don't wanna get rid of anything. Like I guess we don't need two of these. So that's good. We don't need two Jedi Master robes, maybe. Ugh. Don't need a Dark Jedi Knight robe. What else do we have multiple of? We have three Sith masks. Oh yeah, look at how many of those are worth. Get rid of that. Gloves, a uh, shiny shield, eight Mandalorian. No, they're only worth twelve. All these data pads are only worth one. Stimulants are only worth ten. This stuff's not worth anything. This is something I'd have to do off camera. I don't think anybody wants to watch a whole episode of like breaking down I'll items. Have this open in no time. Alright, so let's see what we can do with these droids. Access work log. Uh, view the pending work log. Page 1 of 3, Task 1046A, Head Technician Durgar, Dr yeah, Durgar Chester. I can't believe Zerko Corp released a new protocol droid model with so many flaws. The batch we ordered last month have all fried out from overheating. The Zerko rep said the droid was designed for temperature-controlled environments, such as starships, but I don't buy it. The real problem is that the Sith cursed power cell in the new model runs too hot. And worse, the output modulator was installed right next to the cell, as the first thing to get melted into slag when the cell overheats. Needless to say, without a functioning output modulator, you could jostle the droid and it would pop like fireworks on Republic Day. So I'm working with Zerker Rep to get these defective droids replaced. In the meantime, I power down the new protocol droids so they don't cause any more accidents. Alright, I have a feeling we're going to have to be controlling a droid and moving it to blow something up. A few prior work logs. Okay, not responsive. Camera control. These are all the same. Oh, no, they're not. Camera's offline. Okay. So we can reactivate the droid. Gauge droid in meet and greet mode. Repair diagnostic speech system. Diodes that control the speech system have been melted due to their proximity to the power core. Okay, leave it alone. All right, well, what if I put you in meet and greet mode? I'm afraid to follow it, quite Ready. frankly. Is he gonna bump into that door and blow up? Okay. Be free! Okay, okay, is this where he blows up? No? Wait, is the leg right gonna blow him up? Whoa, party member down. Bow Dirge is- oh yeah, okay, he just blew up. Jeez. He didn't even hurt the leg wreck. Alright, so we've gotta- we've gotta clear a path then. I don't know where he's supposed to go. Look how easy that is to get him back to full health. This 
All right, here's what we're gonna do. Let's go. I'm gonna bring Baldur. We're splitting the party, boys. Splitting the party. I'm gonna bring Baldur back to the droids. I'm gonna have him activate one. Because I don't want to have to run all over this place multiple times. So, you have been selected. Reactivate. Meet and greet. Done. Okay. Return. Switch back to him. Turn solo mode off. And then we continue clearing this hallway. <laughs> Okay, the only problem now is I don't know if he's gonna go in here. I don't know where the droid's gonna go next. Hopefully I can loot this body before the droid goes by. Salvage your corpse. You found a will on the salvager. The will states all of its possessions are to be left on the other dead salvager you found. You can tamper with the will so the salvager's possessions go to you. No. State has the will of the dead salvager is badly misspelled and indicates that if he dies, his possessions go to the other salvager that ventured into the sublevels with him. Okay. Where's, uh, where's my buddy? Tell me the droid went the other way. Where is he? Where did he go? He had to go on this way. There he is. Why are you going this way? Yes. Okay. Well, we'll stick with him. Why am I still getting combat music? Joy is busy executing its program task. Okay. I should have just activated all of the droids. Like, he's gonna run all the way back to the start. We almost made a full loop. There's still this whole middle area that we have to check out, though. What? How do you... Oh my god, Handmaiden. The teleporting needs to stop. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the beginning. Hopefully the droid just keeps going this way. I don't think we could get into that uh, storage room just yet. So now we're back at the entrance. Oh god, who is that? I don't want to deal with them just yet. Yo, what if the droid... What if the droid goes to meet and greet those guys at the entrance? That would be awesome. Hello, I am a droid. I am here to greet you. And he just blows up in their face. Let's go. Is someone out there? Anybody? Help! Legrix are everywhere! Help me! I'm trapped in here! Uh... The Lake Rex in this area are dead. You must be fierce with a blaster then. 
Oh crap. Give me a moment. I sort of jammed the door a bit. I should hide in my lightsabers. Hide the lightsabers. No. Thanks for saving me. I thought those legrex had me for sure. Uh Uh Before you go, what are you doing down here? It's all Tapale's fault. She said the entryway to the sublevel was safe enough. This area has hardly been explored. We barely got in here. And then everybody started going left and right, grabbing anything they could. It was every man for himself, and nobody was watching for leg wrecks. Then, before you know it, we were under attack by those beasts. So salvagers were running every which way, and they left me to die. This is the guy with the backpack? Why are you down here if it's so dangerous? All the easy pickings have been picked. Now everything that's worth more than a glass of Juma juice is long gone. So this level is about the only place that's left. And as you might have noticed, it's very dangerous down here. Almost nobody's managed to get anything from down here. Not that it matters. Almost nobody? Who's the almost? There was a group that managed to get in and got one of the biggest halls ever. Tapele said we could do that too. But they were a damn sight more organized than we were. And they've caused more problems dead than they ever did alive. How did they die? They were the first to really get anything from this damn level. They were so confident they went right back in. A bunch of us salvagers waited by the entrance. Only two of the four came back. And one died right away from his wounds. The other man was going to be rich. But they Whoa! Had to fight no there. droid! It wasn't much Do not fight. greet! Do not oh, greet! Okay, whoo. problem. Whew! That was a close one! Oh man, alright. How can dead people cause problems? Well, since every last one of them is dead, their find is sitting in the militia's headquarters. That's one of the biggest claims ever, and they won't give it to nobody. So people keep saying that they were owed by the dead salvagers, or that they're related. But Zeron isn't an idiot. The only thing he's gonna believe is a will. And after some try to pass less than authentic ones off on him, now he'll only take a will and their personal effects. Okay, well I guess we may have that. How did they die? They were the first to really get anything from this damn level. Oh, we already answered this. It wasn't much of a fu uh, alright, let's talk about oh, something certainly. else. Just don't take too long. Uh, did you find anything down here? No, I, I didn't get anything. Now I'd just like to leave. I know you found something, to Tape Belay told me. Fine. I did grab a couple of things from the room we were in, but it's just Jedi garbage. I can pay you for what you found. No, I hadn't thought of that. We could arrange something like that. That would work. I, I, I managed to grab three things. One's some sort of crystal, and the other looks like parts. For a lightsaber, maybe, I don't know. If you give me 1,300 credits, you can have it all. Now, that'll be enough for me to get off this rock. No returns on this. You're stuck with what you buy. Uh... Can I see what it is first? Oh, it doesn't work that way. Maybe it's worth a lot more than 1,300 credits and you make off real good. Maybe it's a lot less and I make off real good. You can buy it from me here or at the salvager camp. Mm. I'll hold on to it for you. I owe you that much at least. Just don't take too long. Here's 1,300 credits, whatever. <laughs> a pleasure doing business with you. Uh, now I can finally get passage back home. I hope that junk is worth it to you, I really do. I'm going to the salvager camp. It'll take some time to get things in order. Come visit if you like, but if you don't like what you bought, it isn't my problem. I just received Expert Deflection Emitter, Improved Beam Gem Lens, and an Orange Crystal. Eh. I don't know if that's worth it. Yes. Nothing in here. Great. Okay, well, we went full circle. Uh, we still haven't checked out the center area yet. And we've got some guys waiting for us at the, uh, the exit. So we're going to save our game here. I'm not going to uh, address these guys until after we finish exploring. But we're going to have to do that in the next episode. So that's going to be it for now. Thank you guys for continuing to watch. I'm really enjoying this game so far. 
Uh, I don't know how far through it we are because I've never gotten to the end before, so who knows? There could be a lot left. Maybe some of you know. I don't know. Who knows? We'll keep going, though. Anyway, Mobius 1 here. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you next time.